In three, in two, in one. Bang. Hey guys. How's it going? Sorry, it took a little longer than uh, usually. That's because I'm tr I was trying to get all my shit on my PC so that I can show you what we did rather than just talk to you. Um, but welcome in, guys. Fang, I saw your messages before I even went live. 
um i really appreciate you thank you for for always being here and being such a fucking g um rotan welcome in welcome in we had a couple follows while i wasn't here uh including i wonder woman j muzeta and golden octopus thank you guys all so much for the follows and a welcome to the stream guys how you guys doing how was your week i haven't been live since monday um honestly it's uh it's been a hell of a long week um it's been a lot of fun going to comic con and in joburg um met so many amazing people uh we had a whole lot of fun um for those of you who don't know i flew up on thursday morning and uh we ended up staying there until monday night um all in all johannesburg is quite an experience i've never been there before and to be dead honest i don't know if i'll be going again anytime soon um just because the uh, i don't know it's just so different there um the people are different the the roads are different the the air is different um it's i don't know it's like the lifestyle there is just a whole like flip from the way it is in cape town maybe maybe it's just me um but yeah that's it though i had a whole lot of fun um and like i said we met a whole bunch of amazing people so i'm just busy flipping through all my photos right now just so that i could show you guys uh i try to take as many photos as i could there are a couple of videos as well which i unfortunately couldn't um load onto my pc somehow but i will try and get that up on twitter um there are there are two videos uh one of us singing in the car we had to drive for about an hour and then another one was also in the car where my two two of my very best friends were just arguing and it was actually insanely funny but anyway so um yeah tonight this is going to be a bit of a debrief going to run you through what we uh what we experienced uh, i'm going to try and remember as much as i can i did make a couple notes uh as well so um yeah i scheme we just we just get straight into it um so first things first uh wednesday night we started preparing and uh we started packing our bags and this is what happened my little pike my little doggo decided i want to go with i don't know if you can see properly but in in that you can see she's sitting inside the suitcase um shame we felt so bad leaving her behind but uh yeah so we packed on wednesday um and uh slept over by uh up by our friends uh we all slept at the same house so that we could all get into um the van early morning because our flight was at 6 a.m we arrived at 8 a.m uh there are some pictures in between obviously this is all the photos on my phone so if if i flip past something it means you you shouldn't see it so this is us in the car um as you can see we're all fucking exhausted i think we had like maybe two hours of sleep at most I know I had about an hour. Uh, my wife didn't sleep at all. The guys in the back got lucky and had maybe two hours of sleep. So this was us in the yeah, in the van going to the airport. And then obviously by the time we got to the airport, uh, we all woke up just a little bit, but we hadn't had coffee yet. So yeah, this is a, this is a great photo of the six of us that went. There were seven of us and I'll get to that a little later. Um, Duncan joined us a day late because he is a teacher and he had school uh try zero hours yes <laughs> like i said you didn't sleep i hardly slept and uh the others some of them had maybe two hours whose fault is that that is your fault keegan um absolutely your fault so anyway so a couple pictures of us at the airport obviously this was the first experience i had in 20 years of uh getting onto a plane um my wife's very very first experience ever she's never been on a flight She's never been outside of the Western Cape, really. She drove once to Poch, Poch of Sturm. Uh, but other than that, Nice knows the furthest we've ever gone together. A couple more photos at the airport. This is in the bus uh, between the airport and the plane. Um, so this is obviously just outside the gate. Got, a, got into a plane and some of you may have seen this picture on Twitter. I posted that I'm on my way. This is the picture that I posted there. This is on the flight. Um, yeah, not much to tell. Uh, this was Ian's nostril, just because we were exhausted and silly. And yeah, there's the six of us. So the f we flew with Fly Saf Air. Um, great service. They were really, you know, on it. Like the tickets were booked very, very quickly. Great pricing. Uh, the service, you know, from the airport to the flight, also great. Seating, not so much. Uh, I felt very, very big. Uh, compared to a lot of people but that's because their flights are so compact 
it is the smallest plane they have so um it was uh it was a bit of a tight fit but it was only two hours so i didn't complain too much and um yeah so we flew out at 6 a.m arrived at 8 a.m uh sean or svelkin as some of you may know him was on the same flight as us so we ended up dropping him off uh by bromeo in johannesburg i'm not sure what the area is called but uh yeah, that first drive was also quite funny because it was our very first taste um, of, of Johannesburg and the way people drive. And uh, yeah, the, the roads are not well cared for. Um, and uh, the drivers are clearly frustrated by it. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. You, you can probably just, you know, paint your own picture in your mind um, about that. And also like the areas, they, they're very different to, to Cape Town. Like in Cape Town, you have, you know, everything is marked quite well everything is like okay you know you're in the sort of area now um then you it will be quite a bit before you get to another sort of area like what i mean with sort is like good area bad area all right so but in joburg these areas can you know you can go through all of them within the space of like five minutes on the same road it is really different uh, so it's obviously something we didn't expect. We took the highway and then had to turn off and then just after the turn off things got a little sketchy like the area just didn't look all that great. Um, so we got a little nervous obviously uh, but uh, I mean nothing happened the whole weekend so luckily you know we, we got through it and we got through it fine. Um, but yeah it was just for me personally it was a whole experience um, having had you know issues with with with, with cars and stuff before um, and uh, you know public incidents. It was a little, you know, anxiety raising, but I mean, nothing, nothing too, too serious. Um, but yeah, so this is a picture from Friday, uh, Thursday, just to finish up, we dropped off Jordan and then we went through to Gold Reef. Now, Gold Reef City, obviously, as most of you know, is a, uh, a theme park. Um, there's also a casino close by, but Gold Reef City itself is specifically a uh, roller coaster, and, you know, theme park and um we had a whole lot of fun we went on a lot of rides i didn't go on all that many um and there's this one that all of us refused to go on but one of us and that was ian and uh the ride is called the tower of terror now if you've ever gone to gold reef city you may know about this ride you can also go look on their website um the the the, the tower of terror it is a cart of eight people it lifts you up with an elevator and then drops you uh, on roller coaster tracks, but like at a, at a straight ninety degree angle, straight down, no 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 angle whatsoever, straight down um, for about uh, I don't know about 20, 30 meters. I'm not quite sure, but that looked terrifying, and uh, we all refused to get on <laughs> except for the daredevil in the group, and that's Ian, of course. Um, but uh, the rides were fun. Uh, we had we had a very good time and um yeah then we then after we were done at gold reef we drove through to denaceville now denaceville is about an hour outside of johannesburg um and i think it's actually on part of the free state instead of uh Gauteng. so um yeah so denaceville there's not much to tell it's a really really tiny town um they don't have a bank they have one restaurant and they have one superette as their um you know their supermarket so it is really tiny and uh there wasn't much to do there other than you know be at our accommodation and go eat at the restaurant would have done it if gold reef didn't try to kill me oh of course yes <laughs> so my wife is also quite a daredevil so she would have probably gotten onto uh, the tower of terror but um funny story we almost died um because one of the rides um it's called the josie express i think um we got into the front seat my wife and i now we're not small people as those of you who met us at comic-con we're, we're not you know we're, we're not medium we're not small we're, we're large right we're bigger people and this ride clearly was not made for our size and we got into a cart and the the, the thing that holds us down the the bar the safety bar at first wouldn't clip so i was like okay well obviously we can't take this ride but then the person that works there kept pushing and eventually she clicked it in um so i was like are you sure this is going to be safe and she's like yeah yeah you're fine you clicked in it's not going to come out guys it came out <laughs> it halfway through the ride 
it came loose and we were like there, there's there's the bar that holds you down then there's another bar at the front so you're holding on like this and i was holding on for dear goddamn life because if either my wife or i fell out of that ride probably either you know massively injured or dead um because it had a couple dips as well where you almost went up so down but not quite um and uh luckily g-force kept us down most of it but uh <laughs> after that ride i don't think we got on any other roller coasters we did one uh water ride which is literally just sitting in a tube and going down rural river but otherwise than that we just sat and watched everyone else do their rides <laughs> so that was uh that was quite the experience um and then has put me off roller coasters for a couple of years but uh other than that we had a whole lot of fun at gold reef um yeah, then we went to Denaceville and uh, checked into our accommodation. Lovely place, um, absolutely nothing wrong with it. Great, uh, you know, great space, nice bed, you know, nice room. Not much to tell about it, but it was good for accommodation as accommodation gets. Um, all grabbed the shower and just relaxed. Uh, had a dinner at the one restaurant in town. Um, met the dude there that was roughly our age, um, who was extremely excited to see other people his age. Because, as you can imagine, Denaceville is such a small town that has not much to offer. It seems more of a retirement town than, a, than an active town. So he was extremely excited to see us, try to just start a conversation with us. But uh, as um, five out of six are introverts in, in my group, um, we, uh, we couldn't continue that. But his dog was lovely. Um, a little staffy. She was very, very cute. And yeah, that uh, wraps up for Thursday. So then... Friday morning, we went to Van der Beel Park, uh, which is about 30 minutes from Denaceville, uh, and I think about 30 minutes, 40 minutes from uh, Nazrek, which is where Comic-Con is. Um, we went to a mug and bean there, and uh, the manager was extremely helpful. Um, unfortunately, the waiter dropped our food after we had waited for a while. She already came to us to apologize, saying the food's taking a bit longer because we're quite busy. We were like, no, it's all chill, man. We're all, we're all good. And then she came back to us, I think, maybe five minutes later. Um, was like, guys, I've got bad news. Um, the, the waiter dropped your food, so we're going to have to remake everything. And we're like, oh. <laughs> it's okay like yeah we're hungry but at the same time ugh, you know accidents happen we can't blame anyone um and uh turns out that he only dropped half of the food so half of it came and uh the other half took about you know, three minutes four minutes to come out so it really wasn't that much of a biggie but it was just funny <laughs> that the waiter dropped our food um which doesn't happen very often and um yeah that was pretty much the the, the peak of Thunder Bale Park and uh, then we went to Comic-Con, which is the picture that you see in front of you. So this was my I'm here uh, where the home is at tweet. Um, obviously at the entrance of hall number five, which is where all the gaming was taking part. So the VS, uh, Rocket League, Valorant, CSGO. There was some Call of Duty. Um, I'm pretty sure there was FIFA, but I didn't really get to see that much. Uh, so this is where all the all the lands and all the gaming stuff happened and it was a great experience and I met a whole lot of people in this very hall as well um, So this is obviously the entrance. So they had a couple of arcade games. Uh, this is the ATK arena as far as I am aware um, Yeah, so walked in and then uh, When we got there fusion was actually just about to start playing so team fusion here you can see defunct teacher and your pay go um, They were just busy. I think this was their warm-up that they were doing their first match was against who was this against I, I cannot remember for the life of me right now um i will come back to that later i know that we watched them play wrg and unity that was on saturday though um friday who did they play against was it unity i think it was unity on friday as well no it couldn't have been because it was quarterfinals um Anyway, doesn't matter. They were playing on Friday, and then Saturday we played against WRG in the semi-final, lost that one, and then took third place against Unity. So lots and lots of fun there. Uh, the boys played extremely well. I was very proud of them. Even against WRG, it was a 4-1 to, to WRG, but the scoreline doesn't tell the whole story. Um, we definitely played very well. We I th think we took them to overtime twice. If, yeah once or twice but it was all very close it wasn't you know 4 0 5 0 it was like 2 1 3 2 kind of stuff so yeah this was the streamer lounge um honestly 
I heard a lot of the streamers at StreamerCon say that they were not super stoked with uh, with the size and the allocation that they got. Um, this is literally it. This is the whole room. There wasn't much else. And of course, you know, StreamerCon, it is mostly, you know, just chatting, sitting on the couch, talking through things, um, getting, you know, getting various streamers up there uh, to, you know, teach young and upcoming streamers um, about streaming. But... Um, yeah, I mean, it was great. It was great experience for them. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, Daddy Cool sitting over there. I can't zoom in for some reason. Um, yeah, there's Greybeard in the middle. And then I think this is Tendo. Tendo plays. I'm not 100% sure, though. I met Greybeard. Um, amazing dude. I mean, he's even more fun in real life than he is on uh, on stream. Not that they're, Not that he's not fun on stream at all. He's an amazing person. Uh, has so much love for this community and just wants to be part of it all really like you see him and you think okay he's you know he's got gray beard and gray hair looks old trust me doesn't act it all right this dude look this dude act like he's like he's 25 he's an amazing amazing content creator and such a pillar in this community i know that sounds cliche but he is to me he's the godfather of of rocket league uh south africa so and his wife is a gem absolutely melissa is such a sweetheart like if you could take a human pack them up and put them in your suitcase it would be melissa like she is so adorable she's very very sweet was immediately interested as soon as she found out who i was um she started talking to me about like you know what, how my streams would be going and she's been watching as well she's been watching with graybeard she's been watching graybeard streams with me on them um and yeah you know, she's, she's been following my progress as well just like she does with him and a whole bunch of other casters um so she's really really supportive uh of what Greybeard does and what the community does as well so yeah amazing for me checkpoint in my life is meeting the one and only Greybeard and then of course the Gatu Meow this dude mm. you think he's wholesome on stream he's even more wholesome in real life like look how short he is you know how tall I am I'm 185 right i'm at least half a head taller than him this dude is so small i could put him in my pocket but he is a lovely person and i'm so happy that i got to meet him there were a few people on my list um of like most important people for me to meet and gatu meow is is one of them so i'm i'm very very happy to have to have met the gatu meow as well you're not 185 you'd like 205 no dude i am 185 i promise i am 185 i i measured recently i've not grown since then trust me um we met chopper chopper herloff also amazing content creator if you haven't checked him out already please do uh i know we don't interact with him much but he also plays rocket league plays a couple other games as well um amazing personality this dude radiates um just just pure passion but uh, he he's actually very very sweet uh i mean he's he's a little shorter than i am but like he's he's got thin legs and then he's just like this this, this round ball of amazingness i don't know how to describe it but if you see him if you know what he looks like in real life this is him absolutely awesome dude i love the fact that i met him as well um then we saw this cosplayer this was my favorite cosplayer i think of the weekend um amazing job uh being ursula uh from the little moment of course and this was her partner uh these are both guys by the way so that was amazing to me as well um so yeah, that, that was great to, to to meet and then of course the wist of mods the greatest of greatest moderators now also streamer kershoff those of you who haven't seen his face there it is how beautiful is he huh i'm so stoked that i met kershoff he is such a legend such a g to everyone that he either just watches moderates for plays rocket league with you name it this guy supports and now he's also streaming right and just to give you an idea how respected this man is in the industry his first two streams he averaged 20 viewers 20 viewers on average in the first ever stream like that is how much this man has an impact in this community like everyone knows him everyone he had like 50 followers before he ever streamed because everyone was trying to tell him you need to stream we're going to follow you for one day when you decide to start streaming and now he's done it so yeah amazing dude i i, I spent some time with him we watched vs together uh we had lunch the next day with uh with the get to me as well and uh yeah love this dude i will never never have a bet to moderate a sorry fang sorry love 
um but this dude is he's the best i uh, i absolutely adore him and then of course one of the one of also another founding father of of streaming and rocket league in ssa um this is papa capes um <laughs> such such a vibe such a good like amazing personality this man has on him and he's always smiling always smiling like you never see him upset you never see him like have a frown on he's just always happy always stoked and he was extremely excited to be there as well um thank you that i make everyone seem tiny i appreciate that <laughs> i am a big dude i'm from holland okay i can't help it fuck uh, i mean i'm tall as well but i'm also you know i'm also fat i'm just gonna say it, i'm fat okay so i make everyone look small that's fine i mean i'm happy with with who i am um and uh but yeah Papa capes is uh absolutely amazing i'm so happy that i got to meet him of course i've been in his streams quite often uh we've chatted before but we've never physically seen each other so this was the first time for me to meet everyone here all these photos you see are literally first time that i met them so yeah stoked that i met Papa capes as well he's moved to kick by the way if any of, any of you are wondering uh we had a conversation about it Papa capes has moved to kick so he hasn't stopped streaming because a lot of he said to me a lot of people ask him why did you stop streaming and he's like i didn't stop i moved to kick i made a, a lot of announcements letting you know that i moved to kick so if you don't follow my socials that's probably why you don't know but find me on kick so if any of you any of you don't know and you want to still support papa capes he is on kick please go and give him a follow there then we met shens obviously most of you know shens amazing dude this guy is also such a vibe like everything like i don't know imagine a kid going to a toy store for the very first time that is the kind of expression this man has on his face most of the time he's just like you know like starstruck almost like he's he was so wholesome and so happy to meet me and happy to meet max presso sitting next to him and sean sitting next to him we he is i don't know just like papa capes he always has a smile on his face like you never see him down or, or annoyed or anything like maybe he gets it but he doesn't let it show and that's amazing about him is he's always got this personality this vibe about him and the same with max presso this dude is tiny like i thought we would like similar height i thought he was i've seen him on stream so i thought you know he's thin but he might be tall <laughs> not the case he is kind of the same height as the Gatu meow if i'm not mistaken maybe a little taller but he's also super short but what a dude what a g amazing guy um as most of you know he's my my go-to co-caster when i have streams um to cast on and uh yeah he's he's an amazing personality i can't i don't know if you can see it in this picture but he was wearing the doctor strange outfit so he's the only one from like the streaming community ish that i know of that uh, actually cosplayed and sean is sitting next to him falcon he's uh he's obviously the manager for team fusion so he was very focused um in this in this in this photo Ah, oh, Dafu. Um, most of you don't know who that is, but Dafu is a bro. Um, I love playing with him. He's uh, he's a real. I was just talking you about you. <laughs> Let's go back to this picture quickly. Welcome in Raiders, Gravio. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing? How was your stream? I did tune in for a little bit, but I was preparing for stream, so I didn't catch all of it. But um, yeah, welcome in. I was just doing a Comic Con debrief. I haven't been live this week, so I thought I'd let everyone know what my experience was like, and uh, and you know how much fun we had, and who I all met. And you were the one of the first photos um, of uh, of the people that I met in the industry and the top of my list. So welcome guys ginger muzz welcome in jordan welcome in guys i'm so happy that you guys are here um yeah graybeard it was so amazing meeting you uh muzz as well i didn't get a picture which frustrates the hell out of me muzz but i i really really enjoyed meeting all of you um especially muzz graybeard and uh the gatu meow and we were busy talking about um kershoff and then uh shens and then uh maxpresso as well so i'm so stoked that i got to meet all of you um by the way guys apparently i make everyone look small muzz makes me look small he's not fat but he's fucking tall like this man is 2.10 at least he is such he's a mountain dude oh man i was so surprised that muzz was that tall honestly um but uh yeah muzz i look up to you 
anyway uh moving along swiftly thank you so much for the for the raid graveyard i i really love you um and thank you once again for for being here and for meeting you i'm really happy that i got to put a physical interaction to the name um so yeah love it five foot seven ginger buzz so that's what two meters is that two meters what is that why are my sound alerts not working what is happening shout out don't work oh okay it means the stream elements is down sorry guys it has happened before let me try from my side hold on what is going on i don't know why this is not working it's showing on the stream Ooh, but it's not daddy. playing that's weird i'll try to fix it in a sec guys let me just uh, get through this debrief so yeah this is dafu um for those of you who don't know he is a uh, he's one of the bros he's very very active in the server um also amazing personality like we have a whole lot of fun when we oh it's playing on your side okay cool that that's perfect then um uh, maybe i just put mine mine off um oh let me see sound alerts oh i did put monitor off there we go all right so yeah dafu uh bro absolutely amazing personality love i love playing with him uh i love spending time with him in a discord and uh i finally got to meet him and he is just as crazy in real life as he is on 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 uh on discord so um yeah super happy to have met him as well uh let's have a look so then here we have unguarded ace uh he's a newer addition to bro he was uh part of mtg um as most of you know bro and mtg started team fusion together and then after a while it uh you know we we, we, we parted ways and unguarded ace um i believe moved over to bro i'm not quite sure what the story is but he is now also the um the uh manager for bro in rsc i think he's the assistant manager and legendary thick is the general manager uh but also great person really really wholesome uh loved meeting him as well uh i've chatted with him a few times we've, we've actually casted together as well and uh also super happy to have uh, to have met him in person now for those of you who are in the bro server this is the biggest vibe you will ever meet and this is alex defatak so alex is from mauritius um and uh, i don't know if he's ever been in south africa before but this is the first time obviously that i've seen him um and uh also we met him on on friday night uh this was a picture from saturday by the way but we met him on friday night and uh he had kind of already gone to bed so friday um we went friday night we went to bro island I'll, I'll tell you the rest of friday but this is just you know a quick thing about alex we went to bro island so a bunch of the moderators from bro as well as the players and a couple other other bros um booked this massive house on the Val Dam uh outside the Naysville. This is the reason why we stayed at the Naysville so we could spend time with them. And Friday night we ended up going to them uh at about eleven o'clock at night. It was a really long day. And um Alex had already gone to bed. <laughs> kind of. Like he was just busy, you know, getting to sleep. He hasn't hadn't quite fallen asleep yet. But uh he he had just gone to bed. So um <laughs> we walk in and everyone is like Alex get the fuck up come down here and just from like way like upstairs it's all open but upstairs like from way on the other side of the house you just hear like fuck off <laughs> in that in that little french accent that he has and it was actually really really funny but then he came down and greeted us all and uh <laughs> such an amazing dude i really i was really stoked to meet him um i think he's uh, one of the best people we have in bro such a wholesome dude and um yeah great great to meet him and his head is bolder than mine so that's uh that's a plus um but also because he's just aging so <laughs> anyway so um just to give you a bit of a more of a recap on friday sorry i kind of skipped past all of that um we had breakfast in van der Bale park then we went to comic-con for the day met this is where most of the photos came from that you saw so far um at comic-con um i spent most of my time at the vs stand with graybeard he was casting alongside triple m and uh fusion played twice so we had we, we spent a lot of time there i didn't get to see much of the rest of comic-con that was more on saturday and on monday um but uh yeah i mean we we had a great time there then um as i said at the beginning of the stream um our seventh friend duncan couldn't join us on thursday because he was teaching 
and uh, he had to he then obviously you know have class on Thursday. Friday was a public holiday, so he was no fr Monday is public holiday. Sorry, Friday he had to teach. Friday night he flew up to Johannesburg. Hey Kershoff, hey Empire, how you guys doing? Welcome in, man. Uh, good to see you guys, Kershoff. I've I've uh, I've already debriefed everyone on meeting you. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just showing everyone the pictures that I took. Um, so yeah, now uh, now they are faces to names for uh, for some of these people, including you, and uh, just how ama amazing you are, Kershoff. Um, so yeah, it was amazing to meet you. I'm super stoked about that. Um, Empire, you weren't there. I don't know why. I'm annoyed by it, but you better be at Comic Con Cape Town in April. Um, so Friday we had to go pick up Duncan from the airport. Now we went to Comic Con during the day, and then we went from Nazrek to uh, what is the area for for the airport again? Is it? Ah, uh, I can't remember now. Is it Kempton Park? Hey, eh? Kempton Park. Um, anyway, so we went to the airport, but on the way to the airport, our beautiful friend Keegan um, ha taught us that. He's not to be trusted with the GPS because he was sitting in the front seat. JC was driving. He was sitting in the front seat with him. He was using the navigation and um, the GPS told him to turn off, right? This was not his fault. He, the, the GPS told him to turn off. So we turned off. Then we kind of made a U-turn onto a little bridge that went nowhere because it just went back onto the same road. Um, and then we made another U-turn. But this is where it became Keegan's fault, is because the GPS then rewrote, recalculated the route, told us to get back onto the highway, and Keegan and JC between themselves decided to go straight on this on this road on the side. It's kind of like parallel to the highway. And uh, this was a big mistake because we ended up going through what seemed like not quite a township, but a really rough looking area. Um, and then we saw a sign called Primrose. So I'm not quite sure. You you guys in Joburg m may be able to help me out with, uh, you know, what, what happens in Primrose. But yeah, we went through Primrose. Now imagine a bunch of, no offense to anyone in chat, obviously, you know, there, there's not, nothing meant by this, but imagine seven scared white people going through <laughs> a rough looking, predominantly colored or, or african area um yeah we were shit we were shitless scared like like we were so terrified of what, of what was going on so we just we trekked through we had to we didn't have a choice couldn't stop the car couldn't turn around we had to go through uh but we were all just you know super anxious uh jc was amazing though he drove the car straight through didn't stop for anything just kept going um so that was a bit of an anxious moment. Luckily, nothing ever happened. Nothing even looked like happening. But uh, yeah, we're we're all you know we're all anxious. So um, so that was uh, that was that was uh, an experience. Um, not a fun one, but it was an experience. So thank you for for Keegan uh, and JC for that amazing uh, use of GPS. Um, let me just clear these notifications. So then eventually we made it to the airport, picked up Duncan, and fucked off back to the Naseville. Uh, so um yeah and that's where bro island came in obviously so the, so duncan arrived at about 8 8 30 ish picked him up went back to the car drove through i think we got back to the nasal about 10 30 ish yeah 10 30 and uh then we went to bro island and met met a bunch of bros there um Diavolt was there beer machine um alex the Fatak, of course bromeo was the one that organized it his his fiance broliette or uh, Fromeo, whichever whichever you guys prefer. Um, who else was there? Little Moose was there. Um, man, I'm trying to trying to remember who was all there now. Uh, anyway, I'll remember it as as we go. But there were there were a couple guys there. Um, but my my highlights were obviously I have met Bromeo before. I've met Moose before. Oh, Sean was there, of course. I've met him. The Fusion players were there. Um, but my highlight was Alex and Beer Machine, mostly because they're from outside the country. Alex is from Mauritius, and Beer Machine stays in the Netherlands. So it was great meeting those guys. Um, by the time we got there, they were both kind of kind of drunk, kind of drunkies. But that was a lot of fun. Uh, ended up playing some pool with sticks, not cues, sticks and played some uh, ping pong as well but uh i think we left at about one one half half was one so it was uh, it was quite a vibe but it was 
that was fun it was fun meeting everyone at, at bro island and then come saturday so yeah saturday we had i think four hours maybe five hours of sleep um and we checked out of the nasal and just headed through to comic-con and that's where i think where did we start with those pictures i think it was these this was friday and i think this was all saturday um so yeah saturday went through to comic-con spent all day at comic-con uh this is shens of course as i mentioned earlier also such a g what an amazing dude i love i love the fact that he's part of this community like he's he's different to to others uh, in a good way in a very very good way like i love his presence i love his vibe and he always just wants the best for everyone else especially like i i really built an appreciation for for him when um when we were doing the uh gamers against gender-based violence streams he was so involved and he was so like advocating for everyone that was involved it was just amazing and uh, I i'm very happy that i got to meet him um as well don't look at that that is just an image from one of my friends and then saturday uh this is from sunday so before i move on saturday um how do you get compliments you go to sesco stream not mine saturday uh checked out at the nays fall and went to comic-con all day then a very funny story happened once again a couple of capetonians don't know where to go so we booked an accommodation we booked two days in the days full to spend time with the bros and then the other two days or two nights shall i say um in santon now you think santon hey lani area apparently they don't all it's not all lani like there is a little small area um that is not so great and our accommodation that we had booked and paid for or at least 50 percent for was not great um it's a place called in and out uh in and out the hotel or guest house i'm not quite sure but on the pictures everything looked great the inside looked amazing but when we got there firstly the gate the, the it was a you know automated security gate no one asked us why we were there um at like seven in the evening no one asked us there were guys sitting outside half of them looked drunk uh but like you know not not like tourists partying more like locals drinking their black labels that kind of that kind of drunk and then we we already had a bit of a weird feeling and we pulled we parked the car i got out and i heard the first thing i saw was um windows open from one of the guests rooms and music just banging loudly and we were like hmm, i don't know if this is a hotel or a hostel so let's go <laughs> not quite for us um so we we we, we left um uh, sat in the car for like 20 minutes scrambling for a place to go and stay and uh actually found probably the best hotel i've ever experienced which is the garden court in yeah backpackers vibe that's exactly what it was but it, not the kind that we're used to I've, I've been in the backpackers before it was a little weirder than backpackers uh, and the couple that were shouting yes i do remember that as well um but yeah we walked into garden court in morningside morningside really nice area in santon and garden court is part of the southern sun hotel group so um <laughs> i was so happy that we walked in there especially because their prices were affordable their hotel was amazing i was like you know what i don't give a shit about the 50 percent that i just lost on the other place like i'm just happy that we're here and uh, we ended up having a great stay at uh, at garden court um they've got a, a a spur there as well we didn't feel like getting back in the car after everything that had happened so we just had to net spur and uh the waitress there was very very sweet um she was super attentive she was engaging always smiling and uh this was this was the table that we sat at this is a picture from sunday night though but we we went to spur twice in a row because sunday we got back to the hotel we were like yeah we'll go to spur again no problem um so yeah sunday uh breakfast at the hotel breakfast was included i think it's the best breakfast i've ever had they had a queue for the chef where he asks you how you want your eggs but everything else is is buffet style and they had hmm, sausage they had bacon they had beans they had toast they had croissants they had butter they had jam they had cheese uh they had yogurts and all the fruits they had coffee multiple coffee stations uh they, they had like three different types of, of pork bangers like it was just beast beast for days it was amazing <laughs> sorry the breakfast is very important to me so breakfast was amazing and then we went shopping at the santon mall and that was also quite a nice experience i got lost most of the time but luckily i was with my wife so we could just you know phone our friends be like yo where are you at and then try and figure out where everyone is but uh, santon mall was actually quite nice um they have a lot of levels and a lot of shops 
like it's canal walk but confusing um but yeah then uh, we had to take ian and bronwyn to the airport um because they had to fly back on sunday night and uh yeah jc and i took ian and bronwyn back and um then we just had dinner at spur so we sent them this picture uh as to say you know we miss you guys but uh, we're having dinner so hope hopefully you guys are okay and uh, obviously they, they are so yeah very next day um not, not sorry not very next day that was um no that was sunday yeah monday monday we were back to comic con this is manic we met manic as well also amazing dude uh he's been he's very supportive most of you in chat would know him um he's uh he has streamed as well i know he does stream from time to time and his wife is v psych uh who's who also streams so amazing couple and uh they're very active in the streaming community in south africa so it was great to meet him as well um i also met uh dread Varesta. i just didn't get a picture with him unfortunately but also amazing dude super supportive in the uh in the community and uh yeah super happy that i got to meet all these guys and um yeah monday we just had uh breakfast in the morning and then went to comic con uh got our last few things and then we had to fly back so this was the, the plane obviously we were sitting all the way at the back um and uh yeah a couple of us in the plane and yeah that was that was basically it so i had bought this little dude uh at cape town comic con um in april and then when we went to Joburg, i found this dude it's the same guy uh that was selling these so i was like my my larry needs a buddy so we bought barry and now we have larry and barry and they're sitting up here on my shelf i don't know you guys can see him but yeah he's uh very very cool so rate my trip out of 10 hmm are we factoring everything um not just activities but also general city experience um friendliness of the people there like everything everything because if it's just experience 10 out of 10 but if it's everything included i'd give it a seven honestly just because of the roads <laughs> the roads are mad bro i don't know how you people drive but the roads are mad then again i also do know how you people drive because i got almost hit four times trying like someone merging into me not behind me into me do we not know how to merge in Joburg? like what is what is that about um and then uh yeah i think the worst thing about Joburg, and no offense to anyone i know it's a working town it's you know there's a lot happening there it's also very very populated so no offense to anyone but what the hell is up with your air like it's just brown <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why i'm used to blue skies i thought skies were blue not brown um but uh <laughs> I, yeah it was difficult at the beginning like uh the, we didn't quite struggle to breathe but we did feel a whole lot working on our throats um like we all had very very like dry coughs and our lips were dry the whole time it's probably just a change in altitude um obviously you know Jobic is higher than than Cape Town but um yeah that's that's about as, as much as I could say about the negativity around Joburg is just the air um and the drivers like I don't know you guys say that we drive bad I'm saying just because you drive faster doesn't mean you drive better so we drive slow because we like our lives and we like our cars and I'm sure it's expensive <laughs> But uh, no, no Joburg was fun. It was a good experience. Uh, I don't know if I want to go back anytime soon, but I mean, if something happens, I will probably make a plan. Um, Con was 10, Joburg was probably five at best. <laughs> I don't know if it was a five. Uh, I'll give it a six, maybe 6.5 as most says. But uh, yeah, complete overall experience from start to finish, um, including memories made, of course. I i give it a seven uh memories 10 11 12 out of 10 but uh you know the the roads and the air kind of bring it down so seven out of ten seven out of ten i would say um yeah it was uh it was good it was a good 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 experience um oh and then the 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 most important or not most important but something very very important to me is a uh is of course the things that we got um at comic con so for myself i got barry let me show you barry there's barry 
he's very cute you've met larry before um and then i got this mug from rick and marty it says i'm not arguing i'm explaining why i'm right um super cool mug i uh, got a poster as well that i need to still frame uh it's also uh, rick and marty um my wife and bronwyn got a tattoo a matching tattoo that says do not go far from me it's a it's a quote from uh uh vox Machida from critical role um and it's two characters that uh that you know they say this to each other and it was very very sweet and very very special to them so uh yeah do not go far from me is the quote that they got and i also got a quote now i can try and show you on my arm my very very first tattoo i don't think you can see it properly here so i'll just show you a photo um which is my strength comes from my friends now this is from one also one of the characters in vox machina uh his name is grog grog strongjaw and um throughout the, the the series um he's doing this training to get his strength back um and the, the trainer keeps asking him where do you get your strength from and he can't answer and eventually after tireless training he eventually says my strength comes from my friends and that is actually really really um personal to me as well because this group that i went with bar one one didn't go with uh but she's also very much part of this is this is my chosen family and i love them to death and i will never want to part from them and honestly a lot of my strength if not all of it comes from their support and i'm actually fucking tearing up right now but they are so incredibly special to me and they know everything about me and they still choose to love me so they are amazing to me and that's why i got this tattoo i thought my first tattoo has to mean something it has to be special to me and uh this is this is exactly what i went for okay so that was comic Con. it was really really fun i'd love to do it again but maybe in like five years um yeah, until then you fuckers from joburg need to come down here so i can show you how we party for real because cape town is a whole lot more fun i think but anyway i'm just biased i live here so ah <sighs> boys i talked a lot there holy shit But yeah, uh, have any of you, I mean, obviously the, the you know, Maxpresso, uh, Rotan, Muzz, I know you guys all went to Comic-Con, but uh, uh, Daps, did you go to Comic-Con? I don't think you did, honestly. I think you would have found me if you did. I met Sasko, I didn't get a picture with him, unfortunately. He, he went with his wife, and his wife had, I think, I think he mentioned she just broke her tailbone recently, so she couldn't walk much, but they ended up doing seven kilometers anyway. Um... Happy Meal, you were there, bro. I met you as well. I didn't get a picture, unfortunately, but also, like, such a goat in, in, in Rocket League South Africa as well. I'm so happy that I that I got to meet you and put a face to the name. I didn't think you were that short, to be honest. I thought you were this tall, lanky dude, but I've never seen your picture, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was great to meet you as well, Happy Meal. Um, but, yeah, the tallest person I, I think I've ever met is, is Muzz. Uh, he's so tall, like, even to me. Like... If you put him and Max Presso next to each other, Max Presso looks like a gnome. Uh, <laughs> no offense, Mac. But it, yeah, I, yeah, that's it is exactly what it looked like. Muzz is just that tall. Much love, homie. Now I'm a small dude gifted with big brains. Are we okay? That's perfect, dude. I mean, you don't need to look like anything to do anything, right? So I'm uh, I'm just stoked that I got to meet you. I got to meet um, Five BS as well uh of course the players from fusion some of the guys from unity i think the only one from unity that wasn't there was voodoo but obviously he stays in the uk um i saw the guys from wrg this is actually uh we casper's dad um i think his game attack is ghost s13 or si3 um he was there and he was obviously supporting his son and supporting the team his son plays for and um we end up greeting each other uh also with olympic olympic was there as well also <laughs> amazing little dude but he's, he's also really really short um at, uh, but um ghost is also a gamer um so he he obviously he gamed in his time he still does i think and now we casper has started you know he plays rocket league as we all know he's a competitive rocket league player and um his dad actually has seen my streams before 
uh, he, he came up to me and he was like, you're Dutch, right? And I'm like, yeah, uh, who, who are you? And he's like, oh, I'm Ghost. Uh, I've, I've be you probably don't know who I am, but I have been in your chat before and I really I really enjoy watching your streams especially your your VS uh when you you know when you're hosting my my son we cast but I was like oh my god that is actually amazing like I kind of felt almost uh, sounds stupid but I felt like a bit of a celebrity in that moment because there's this old man like this older gentleman who immediately just demands respect just because of who he is that recognized me and I was like okay cool great to meet you so happy that you enjoy my streams i'm hoping that i can continue doing it for a long time and uh yeah it was just great meeting him and uh olympic as well um i have to mention olympic um is a great dude i love him and uh, i love his influence in the in the industry in the in the rocket league scene i know that a lot of you think oh he's toxic um but in person he's actually a really great dude uh, he did try a little bit of toxicity while we were playing because he was supporting uh, WRG against Fusion. Uh, Fusion was sitting on the left side, uh, WRG was sitting on the right side, all the fans. And um, he, when they scored one goal, he came across to the Fusion team's uh, to, uh, uh, fans and was like, Shh, or something like that. So he, he tried a little bit of toxicity, but that is what we expect. <laughs> Empire, I didn't even realize you were still streaming, my dude. Thank you so much for the praise. Raid from Empire Bear. Thank you so much, Empire. I had no idea you were still streaming, dude, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, welcome in, Raiders. Um, I know we share a lot of viewers, so most of you would have probably been here by, by now, but I'll wear my second. I mean, Kershoff was, yeah, but now he shows as a raider from Empire Bear, so... Welcome, guys. I, I really appreciate it. Um, but, uh... What are you saying, Mac? Uh, Olympic taunting was class after that week. Oh, yes, the flick from Wee Casper. Um, that was especially when he came to taunt the, the Fusion fans. But th that's the thing. It's part of the game. Like, uh, the mental part is extremely important because if you can get your teammates' mentality or your opponent's mentality down um it means that you're probably going to beat them at some point so I, I i appreciate his tactics um and it was great meeting him as well he's uh, he's actually a really cool dude so um yeah i i don't think i'm not sure if i missed anything if i remember um during the stream then i will obviously bring it up but um yeah i think that's i think that's the whole story of comic-con um would I do it again? Yes. Would I do it again soon? No. Uh, am I going to Cape Town? Definitely. I'm hoping that most of you are going. Um, yeah. Like I said, I met Sasko as well, but he had to go because of his wife's back injury. Um, she couldn't walk for much. And he was stupid. He, he told me in a WhatsApp message later on. He told me that they tried keeping up with some of their friends and ended up walking seven kilometers. Um, and she was just so like done with the day and actually when i met her she looked in pain already so uh yeah but it, uh, manic Ooh, it was great daddy. meeting you as well uh was i was actually showing a, a picture of of us um outside comic-con i think that was on sun uh, saturday saturday or monday one of the two um sunday we didn't go to comic-con but we did go the other three days but uh yeah it was great meeting you it was great meeting kershoff Expresso, Shens, Gatu Meow, Sasko, Greybeard, Muzz, um, the Fusion Boys, the guys from Bros, Unguarded Ace, so many people that uh, were on my list that I wanted to meet and I'm so happy that I got to meet a whole lot of you guys. Um, I did see Bumplovsky as well, I, I met him in, a in Cape Town in April, um, I also met Rusty in April already. But back then I didn't know many people, so it was very, very good to find more people uh, that I had since then made contact with and connections. So, yeah, this uh, community is amazing. We're only going to go from strength to strength. I think we're just going to keep growing and uh, keep supporting each other. So, yeah, stoked, stoked for, for the experience that we had. I'm very happy that we had the opportunity to go. All right, guys, I'm going to go and just wash my face quickly because for some reason my eyes are tearing up but uh i'll be back in a few seconds um and then maybe we play some some rocket league so if you guys are keen let me know in chat we can play some customs otherwise you could watch me f 
fuck up my life in ranked. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens. But I'll be I'll be. and we are back uh, we're gonna we're gonna clap some rocket leg like i said before if anyone is keen to join us we can play some privates if any of you want to just play some casual maybe we play twos or threes it's up to you guys i wasn't quite planning on playing rocket league but uh the uh the comic-con debrief didn't go as long as i had expected so yeah if anyone's keen let me know otherwise uh, i'll play some casual to warm up and then maybe some ranked Let's see where the night takes us. The night is young. Here down, just listening to you while I'm doing some Blender stuff. Alright, sweet. I mean, if you want to continue doing Blender stuff and just listen, that's also good. I don't mind. It is completely up to you guys. Mac, are you online? Empire, are you online? What are you guys doing? What's, what's, what's the dealio? Happy Meal, you can play? Let's go. All right, so we got Fang and Happy Meal. If I see Discord, I'll see what you are rigging for. And ooh, okay, I'll have a look at it in a sec. Do you want me to show it on stream? I know some artists don't don't like showing off what they're doing. You're done with Rocket League for for the night. How was ones, dude? Did you did you rank up? As you said, you will. Oh, you're just rigging it. Okay, have a look. Oh, I see. Here's a quick sneak peek, guys. Black Fang is working on something. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but uh, maybe he will in, in chat, but uh, it's not my place. Um, but yeah, this is part of what he's busy with, so 
little little sneaky sneaky peeky so um thing i'm looking forward to to what you've described so far like i said before i want to give it my full attention so i will read it again but uh it sounds Im amazing so far snot rod wait yeah it's not right from from cars one it's the dude that wakes up the the truck yeah mac yeah i remember now it's gonna be an easter egg in the project Ooh. easter eggs at alice yeah yeah the one that sneezes so loud that he wakes up mac i i remember Cars is one of my favorite movies dude i remember most of it i can't add ripple guys i haven't touched rocket league today by the way so please don't uh don't don't judge me All right, let's see. So, Black Fang. Oh, checking me city's hopping back on. Easy Black Fang. Do I have Happy Meal? Happy Meal, I don't think I have you as a friend. Oh, wait, there we go. Real Happy Meal. There we go. You guys join me, then we play some 2v2. Unless we can get two more, then we play 3v3. Guys, Happy Meal is good. It's going to be fun. Max Ressa is mediocre. Fang is insane. Haven't watched Cars in years, and yet I can tell you almost every single scene. <laughs> what are you going on about Ghost Dog? Ghost are you online? You want to play? Hey, there we go. Go for the throat! What do you mean? I have been nothing but completely honest and very complimenting. <laughs> Empire Bear and Happy Meal drank together? <laughs> oh, now Happy Meal's a fraud? Okay. Empire, get in here, man. Come, we need one more. One more! Anyone, 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 anyone. Anybody, anybody. Happy Meal, if you have friends online, you're welcome to invite them as well, huh? We don't mind quality. Alright, let's get this party on the road. Ah, yeah, I'll play Champions Field, fine. Seventy-two demos away from forty. Holy shit! With Capes was in Cape Town. What was that with April Comic Con or uh, or what? All right, whoever's last sets out, boys. Two v two. <laughs> Fang, what are you doing? <laughs> Double extermination? Holy shit. Alright, I guess the demos are, are happening today. Was a Rock League event? Oh, okay. How long ago was that though? I don't remember that happening in the last year. Oh fuck. Oops.
Mac, what are you doing in the Mustang? <laughs> it doesn't suit you. <laughs> I don't know why. That's just, that's just me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I am... Uh, I am tactless tonight, apparently. A while ago, like three or four years. Oh, okay. That was way before my time. I started three years ago. Oh. I can't get there. Making you realize how long you've been playing this game and you're still cuck. That's what I've been trying to tell you, dude. can I invite? Let's see. You know what? I'm just going to invite Six Penny. If he accepts, then he accepts. If he doesn't, he doesn't. Flick was insane. What the hell? <laughs> Empire, get online, man. Come play. Come show us just how cuck you are. Shit, that was not a good boss. You're in bed? Get out of bed! Also, if you're in bed, send pictures. Proof for it didn't happen. No! Dude, the setups from Happy Meal is insane. Like, this dude, I don't know how. I, I, it just makes Mac look awkward. That's how good he is. And Mac is good. You're scared of Happy Meal? Uh, no, uh, that's fair. Oh, no. I should have saved that. I was right there. Is you get a clip that he flip reset it on Happy Meal? Also, do any of you know this, but the other day someone tested a theory. I can't remember who it was, but they tested a theory that if you hold both analog sticks, you can choose which side you spawn after a demo. Anyone tried this? I don't believe that it's true, but 
I, I know they were testing the theory. I can't remember if they if they proved that it's right or wrong though. It's true. All right, could anyone that is actually like trustworthy tell me that? Cap? Nah, that's what I thought. GG. You can't. Thank you, Happy Meal. Someone I can trust. Let's see if Ty is keen to join us. Can you say that sentence one more time while my brain is working? Okay. Um, so it, someone the other day, I can't remember who, but, but they were testing the theory that if you hold both analog sticks a certain direction, you can choose which side you spawn after a demo. But Happy Meal says that it's not true. I swear I've done it and it works 100% of the time. Even it's supposed system, even it's supposed system that makes it hard to spawn inside another player is not 100%. What? Spawn inside another player? I've never thought of that. Never even considered that, to be honest. Come boys, join us, play 3v3. Hello, Ty. How are you doing, sir? Thanks for accepting my invite. Happy to see you. Hey, boost. <laughs> yes, I have six. You took too long, Empire.
No! <laughs> what am I doing? Thank you! Keegan, appreciate you. Hello? <laughs> it just didn't double jump. What the fuck? Ooh, Kirsch. Ooh, Kirsch. Pretty good. Nice. What is this? Double flip reset. Okay. Bang, fuck off. What's it? I was ready for the boss though. <laughs> Go on. Take a look. <laughs> Try backflip on Big Max Presso. Max Press are just sitting there watching in awe. <laughs> Whoops. It says go live, by the way. Was he not streaming today? I would check, but I'm just lazy. Oh, I tried pre-jumping. close Got a hop at the body shop doing something unholy
Chi boy. Gives me time to work out the rigging on slot rod. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess you're not too upset if you're sitting out, right? For a second, I thought I had to go there. Yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, whoa, you got Ty, Happy Meal, and Kershaw, Ach, um, Mac on the same team? That sounds a bit rigged. Sorry. We, we clutch. Honestly, I had ball cam on. Sorry, Kush. Check. Oh my dose. How did he get another touch? Holy shit. Oh. Holy shit. Ah, oh, come on. Bang. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. And if I hit that a little softer, I could have maybe doubled. Get out of here! Totally intended. Yeet. Oh no. <laughs> Who is playing? Google Dolls Rock cover Rock cover By our last night <laughs> Sounds pretty good so far Empire Oh, close Oh, the double was beckoning. Ah, close. went away from me is that in it is now mr violent how are you doing
Oh, got a bit of metal happening here. All right. Yeet. Come on, boost. Come on, boost. Come on, boost. That's fine. Let's go back. Huh? How'd they go that way? What? I don't know, not that way. What the hell is happening in this game? Violet, did you go to Comic Con? I, I swear I didn't meet you. Well, if I did, I'm sorry if I don't remember, but. Oh, right, you had a funeral, I'm sorry. How, how was the funeral, though? And I mean, I mean that honestly. I know you didn't want to go, but how was it? And please don't say stuff like, as good as funerals go. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that was your grandmother, right? Funeral was okay, but the trip was epic. I'm glad you made this experience out of it. GG, that was a good game. Alright. Fang comes in for Kershaw. Uh, Keegan, that uh, band, Our Last Night. Do you have more of this stuff? Or do you, like, do you rate them? Got ahead, thank you for the games. I am due 20 plus games to get accepted into RSC. Ah, oh, rough. Just I thanks for the games, dude. That means that Christoph stays in. I will go check them out. I, I, I quite like that one. They do some of their own and a ton of covers. Nice. Let's go. Kevar, how's it going? Yeah, <laughs> welcome in, man. How you doing? What's good? What's good? I'm not enjoying whatever lag spikes are occurring. <laughs> Yo, Mac. Chill. Um, nice, good save. Holy rock cover. Okay. I'm actually excited for this. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit him there, but I think we bumped each other twice. <laughs> Both failing to demo. That's crazy. Oh, 
Oh no. Uh, this might be awkward. Actually, it's fine. No swearing for five minutes. Gotcha. I will not swear. Hello, motherfucker. I, I mean, that doesn't count. Come on. <laughs> Oh, the bump wasn't on purpose? Oh, that's actually crazy. No swearing for the rest of this game and two minutes into the next one. Okay. No! Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's go! The back boss works! Oh, the fake! <laughs> that was crazy! Nice shot. That's why he's the pro and we ain't. Yeah, facts. Facts. This is banger, by the way, Keegan. This, this, this cover is insane. Is that in? No, it's not. What can I say? I'm a playmaker. <laughs> what? A little booty shot. Uh Not demo him. No, that was so close. <laughs> was that a pinch? One thirty four. <laughs> oh, I wasn't quite a pinch. <laughs> Happy meals on fire, as we expect. Ah, I misread that. That was close. Get out of here. <laughs> is that just it? Oh, Mac is there. Keep it up. What am I? I like it. GG. 
You got to happen me four times. Mad. I don't know if Happy Meal has uh, chat enabled. Oh, there we go. Bang, what's my cheeks? <laughs> oh, you did have chat off. I thought so. Bang a little sus. <laughs> uh, Happy Bill, I don't know if you know this, but um, the Black Fang, or the real Black Fang, um, is part of uh, Boob Squad. Um, he's third on their leaderboard in Norway for amount of demos. He's close to 40k. 40,000 demos. Mud fub. I think I have like 6,000. <laughs> Oh, is that in? Oh, man. I would be clean. All right, two minutes in this game. I was still not swear, so doing well so far. I don't think I've been caught once. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Ah. Bang. Unlucky. Oh, hi. All right, just take my boost in. That's fine. I'll take that. Oh, the pre-flip almost happened. This is... Oh, that's unfortunate. Pre-jump. I get these. Damn it. Does damn it count as a swim, by the way? Nice shot. Sixty to go. Holy. Uh. Bang, bang, bang. I'm gonna invite, of course, Jezza. Me invite you. This. Uh, I'll invite you right now. J -j 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 there we go. Oops. Guys, I was inviting someone, okay? That doesn't count. Anybody, please. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> oh, I can't reach. That was fast. Been five minutes. I could fucking swear again. <laughs> Thanks for that redeem, though. Happy you spent what is it, five k on on swearing? Oopsie. Whoopsie, poopsie. Bruh. 
What am I doing? Why? Why am I doing this? Oh no. Oh no, there's no boost in that corner either. Right, I have W teammates. Leave my boost. Faster. 50! Ah. Snap, crackle, and pop. The speed on this man, though. <laughs> ah. Yo, if that was in, that would have been clean. <laughs> I could score, apparently. <laughs> nice one, Fang. Oh, man, I'm last. Let's go! I can also score. Sometimes the post bonds and divine intervention meet. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> that was a pretty clean shot. Oh, we're just going to listen to everything from our last night. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't know if other people do. This is actually really good. Like, it's kind of metally, but it's not too metally, if you know what I mean. Like, it's the perfect balance of metal and good for stream. Thanks for leaving the boost for me, guys. Oh, the Brazil! And then, Kush? What happened? Kirsch, are you annoyed that you were not playing well, or are you annoyed by your ping? <laughs> Bro, I beat everyone in that last play. <laughs> annoyed by that damn SSL. <laughs> Well, he's only playing one more if you want to come back after that one. <laughs> but he is good, eh? That's why he's a pro. And not just a pro, he's in one of the best teams in the country, so... It's always going to be tough playing against him. Wait, we're only five now? Where, where... what happened to Happy Meal? Oh, there he is. Hey! What am I doing? Too fast, god damn. Oh no. He is super fast, dude, and he's he's like accurate with every touch. Like that's th that's what separates the pros from the rest of us, is that 
when they go for something they get it every time it's there, there, there's no there's no room for mistakes like sure they'll they'll whiff it an air dribble every now and then but usually when they go for a certain touch they will get it and that's the that's the difference Happy Meal has made me sad, Meal. <laughs> Man's insane. I could I couldn't take any more beating. <laughs> I could or I couldn't. Oh no, the setup was terrible. Luckily, Happy Meal's there. I feel like I'm gonna be saying that a few times. <laughs> he couldn't, I thought so. Oops. How are you doing, man? Welcome in. I'm good. I'm good. And I think everyone else is too. But uh, it's always so nice to see your first message because you always ask, how is everyone doing? I'm so bummed that I didn't meet you slash recognize you at Comic-Con. was pretty oh. <laughs> I'm clipping that shit well, let's go <laughs> ah, no boost for a minute are you killing me all right cool well, I'm good on the ground so let me cook no boost no boost uh, this is annoying yeah, but I totally... What? I didn't entirely recognize you initially either. Realize after. Yeah, it happens, dude. There's probably so many people that I met that I... Would have recognized if I just, you know, thought of them and their names and stuff. I didn't see the time, by the way. What was it? 2.10? Two, two for the for the no boost? Eh, I can't. <laughs> Leave me alone! Pumping. I'll just call it at 2.10. Guys, I can't boost. I'm I'm kind of useless. I just shake this tall guy's hand and said hello. You shake this tall guy's hand and said hello. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, are you sure that wasn't Muzz? Oh, you re you realize after that you left it was me. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna happen, dude. Also, <laughs> where? Like at Comic Con? Where? Um. And on what day? Let me try and remember. Also, what were the surroundings? Let me let me let me see if I can paint a mental picture of meeting you. No boost is over. Let's go. Tell me the fake. Oh, the fake almost worked. Like, give me as much detail around the handshake so that I can try and remember it. Going into my mind palace. Oh, 
Oh, that's just there for someone. GG! Am I lost? I played so fucking well in that game. <laughs> GG, happy meal. Thanks for the game, suit. Kush, are you coming back? Letting you play? Are you kidding me? You're always welcome. Always welcome. Smack a Big Mac. Hey, I'm actually smoking a Big Mac as well. You are in Rocket League, I will invite. Thanks sitting out for a bit. Oh, okay. Gershoff is joining now though, so. Bang left the party. Oh, okay, we need one more. Panda, you wanna play? Let's invite six penny again, see if he accepts. There's only four here. Oh, Curse needs to join. Well, oh, I guess we play TV2. Playing rank threes? Oh, nice. Are you playing with the cat too? Uh, I, I see he's live, so I assume. Let me see. Nice panda. Zero one. Three minutes twenty. Oh no. Am I one v winning empire right now? No. Why? Why? Curse, just join blue. You can take my place. I can just sit and watch for a bit. Expected. Ooh. Actually, while this game happens, I'll just go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, let me just change this to borderless. Yeah, see you in a bit.
All right, I'm back. Um, what's this game for? Uh, no, it's just privates, dude. We're just uh, we're just jamming some privates. So you got my camera, and now you need the background. Where? Huh? There we go. Nice. Gotcha. That's uh, just private spender. We uh, we're five at the moment. So if you do want to join at some point, you're welcome to. We can play six, three v three. Let me get back in here and change this back to full screen so I can play. It's a resounding win for team for team one. This is on fire.
I need to, I need to get some dinner, so I'm gonna dip. But I uh, thank you for the invite. No, absolutely, dude. Anytime. Oh, nice shot. Anytime, dude. Thanks so much for the raid. I appreciate you so much. And uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm very, very grateful that I got to meet you. Such a vibe. I mean, it, I, I know that from stream and from when we worked together as, as casters. But it was just great to to see that in person as well. It was amazing. You ran into Greybeard and he was on my team twice. Let's go. In ranked. Bro, I am throwing this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. You peaked when you played with him? Dude, Greybeard is actually really good to play with. Like, he's a super, like, real team player. Um, and obviously, he goes for a lot of demos. So, makes your job a little easier, if anything. Bruh. Should have scored that. His support plays nasty. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> well, what rank did you guys play that he said it's his rank? Oh, champ two? You wait, you're champ two? He is crazy, but he has been GC before. Nice shot. If you ran into him in... Oh, you're champ 1 to 3, but you're around C2 most of Let's go. Jeez, dude. Last time I checked, you were like Diamond 3 almost hitting champ. Like sometimes getting its champ, sometimes not. No, man, really to start hitting those pinches. Wait, so Shens, what you're saying is you and I could actually queue up ranked. Because I'm like champ one, champ two right now as well. That was the wrong way. Solidly in champ now, my threes gameplay is peaking because of Bavik. Nice. I mean, that dude's insane. I've played him a couple times. Both threes and twos. Bavik is really good at the game, though. Bavik Matic. Is it Matic or Matic? I, I assume it's Matic, but uh, could be wrong. B? That was bad. I should have put that on target. No, Kershaw! <laughs> Why you ruin me like this? Let's go! Matic as an automatic. Yeah, I thought so. His brother is Vidil Matic. Oh. Does he also play Rocket League? I haven't seen that name, honestly. Or maybe I have, I just didn't realize. All good, man. Sorry, I'm keeping you from your from your dinner. Enjoyed it. Just with the boys, he's gold slash bad. Okay, that's probably why I haven't seen him before. Have a great one, thanks, dude. You too, man. Enjoy your dinner. Your boy is peeking. Cheers. 
go on. Cook for me. Cook. I am not letting that one go in. Oh, ho, ho. could have gone there. Alright, let's go. Honestly, rocky start, but we brought it back. Oh, he went for the snipe. No, not like this. Not like this. Oh, no. I thought I had time to get around it and he just flew into it. Well done. Well played. Mooi gespeel. I, guys, I, I have an apology to make. I realized that when Shens raided me, Pizza Delivery Guy 22 followed me and I didn't even say thank you. So I apologize, Pizza Delivery Guy 22. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome, welcome to the stream. I was just so like, I don't know, overwhelmed with, this, with this, the raid and then playing the game and playing against these bloody sweats. Wait, what's happening? No, why is Kirsch sitting out? Kirsch, get in here. I don't know what happened there, but guys, for future reference, the lowest scorer on the losing side sits out. I don't know if... I, I honestly don't know if it was me. I didn't check points. Could have, It probably was me, actually. Empire doing the most without boost here. Alright. Ooh. almost redirected that to his own net. The bump play. Does it work? Ah, oh, Kershaw's there. Go on, Mac. We know you can cook. But Jezza doesn't let him in the kitchen. Oh, the fake. Jesus got boost, Jesus got ball. If he cuts this, oh, what a shot! What a finish there from Jezza Reza. Nice speed on that as well. 151. How did he manage that? Ah, Max Presser got a touch. <laughs> so I was saying, there's no way that he shot it that hard. That was like a 110, maybe. Guys, we really need one more player here if anyone wants to join. So we can play some 3v3. You're welcome. <laughs> um, let's see, maybe Chopper's keen. I don't know if he's streaming though. Could be streaming. Sparky's playing, I know that. They're playing ranked. Ty played earlier, but he's playing himself. Or with a, with a friend. New gaming maybe? Ah, oh, but he would be in chat if he if he was keen. That's interesting. Oh, never mind. I thought Teeds was online, but I see Teedsy as well. Uh, nah, no one else that I can just randomly invite, unfortunately. Alright. We continue as is. 2-1 to the blue side. Oh, thank you backflip there from Kershoff. No, no boost though, so probably why. Just in the air. Oh, it gets a nice, nice touch there. Oh, what I know from previous games is that Mac and Empire actually play really well together. No boost. Mm. 
go on. Take the aerial. Campfire's up. There's plenty of boost here. Never seen that touch, but well done. Or does he get back in time here? Nah, he doesn't. Well played, Kershoff. 3-1. to reply to a message while we do this so we can go borderless so we can keep watching Bang! Oh, there's tryouts for Bro tonight and tomorrow night. I had no idea. This is uh, RAC stuff, by the way. So if anyone is still interested in RAC, you can still sign up until the 1st of October. Um, go have a look at um, linktree slash RAC underscore SSA. And you can find all of their socials and stuff there. Alright, 10 seconds. Don't think the orange team brings us back though. Who do I replace? Jezza's out? Alright, sweet. No worries, Jezza. GG's, thanks for the games. Never mind. Thanks for joining us, Jezza. Always appreciate you, man. Okay, we have a 2v2 with the boys. Kershi, Empire, Mac, and myself. Let's go. Always a pleasure, Jezza. Always a pleasure for having you. Oh, no. The casters against the sweats. Let's go. Last one for Mac. Honestly, I'm actually thinking it's the last one for me as well. Mostly because I need to be up early tomorrow and it's 10 to 11. So I think we just call it after this one, guys. But we have to full sweat this one. <gasps> no! 
Not a good start to the full sweat game. Oh. It was cool to play Happy Meal, if only for one game. I'm just glad we win Brazil. <laughs> yeah, Happy Meal's insane, dude. He's so good. Huh? I flip left and flick right. Oh, see, it musty. <laughs> nice, let's go. Fall onto that one. Hey, <laughs> oops. And I get my quarter boost. Let's go. Go on, Mac. Destroy him. That's not destroying him. Fuck. My bad. <laughs> I should have jumped for that one. I kind of froze. Damn it, man. Whoopsie 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 <gasps> oh, I really want to get good at those That touch was bad. <sighs> one day, boys, one day. I can feel it. it's close.
Oh, I failed you, Maxpresso. Keep it up. Keep it up. You can do it. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I, I threw the second half of that game though. That was rough. Yeah, boys, that's it. That is it. That is that is that is it. That was fun. That was really good games. Holy shit, happy meal. That was really fun playing with you as well. Um, but uh, guys, everyone, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for the support and for everyone that I met at Comic Con. I am overjoyed with uh, the, the amount of people that I got to meet. Names and faces go together now, and I love it. I love it so much. Um, GG! Mac, GG's curse, GG's empire. You can go back to your bed now. You can go back to your bed. Enjoy your sleep. I'm going to go do the very same. Uh, guys, before we do go though, uh, can we please go raid someone um, and make sure that you use this in your raid? So, oh, let me, let me mute that. Uh, let's, you know what? I see Chopper's live, so let's go and raid Chopper Harloff. I think we, uh, we owe him a raid. So, yeah, guys, he's live for about an hour and a half, so, so you got plenty of time to enjoy his stream. And, um, yeah, guys, see you in the next one. Much love. Been running around, lost in a maze, lost in a maze. There's no turning.